Yeah. Yes. Well, they, we, they all wish this well, and we'll we'll go down the back staircase. Nobody will notice. Come on. Oh, wait. What? I haven't seen my bouquet. Oh, come on. Give it to the new way. No, Dan Quayle did. <laughs> yeah, of course I did. <laughs> the help of your staff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Joe looks very different. Well, I thought since we weren't going to have a you know real honeymoon right away, we would <coughs> make this night very special. A sleeping bag in a tent would be very special. As long as I was with you. Really? Mm-hmm. Well. That was my second choice. <laughs> you know, for the second time tonight, I'm actually speechless. See, you didn't think I had it no, in me, did you? No, I did. Huh? You hang around with a romance writer, and come on, it just rubs right off. No, no, no. This room... <clears throat> Ah. I know what you like. Wow. Your warmth and your sensitivity. I can feel it all around me. It's going to be this way from now on. You know what I feel? What? I feel like we're back on Gold Street. <laughs> and I'm seeing your eyes for the very first time. Mm. It's funny you should say that. Why? Eight. Yeah, that's it. Open it. <laughs> you are crazy. Oh, I'm crazy in love with you. I can afford something more than uh, paper now, but paper or gold, my love for you hasn't changed one bit since we were on Gold Street. I had such hopes and dreams for us then. And now? And now, they've all come true. I only had one dream. The only one. It came true when I said to someone, 